I'm Jennifer Mata McMahon. Welcome back to another empties video. Now that we're all in quarantine and staying home, I thought it would be a good time to film because I have a little more time on my hands right now. But also because there's no time like now to be using what you have at home and try to avoid the frenetic compulsive purchases that you don't necessarily need because most of us have a lot at home that we could be using. So I'm going to share with you the empties that I've of products that I've used from January until March. So let's get into it. Okay, I have a lot of things here that I've been accumulating for the past three months that I wanted to share with you. Some of them are really good, are my favorites. I went through a no buy year last year and let me settle myself here. Um, and from that year of no purchasing or or purchasing only replacements for things that I would completely run out really taught me or highlighted for me the things that I really love. And so the products that I'm going to share with you Today are products that I've used up and that they're empty, most of them, uh, but there are products that I love, that I've discovered that I really, really love and that I've purchased time and time and again. Um, I don't think, well, we'll get into it. I don't think there's any here that I don't really think are great products. So let's start with hair. Um, I have a, a shampoo and a conditioner of this Aveeno um, shampoo and conditioner product and it's rose water and chamomile blend. I've been loving for some time now anything that smells like roses. So anything that has a rose scent I really enjoy and this shampoo and conditioner have that scent and they were really nice. I have already repurchased them and I have them in sort of my rotation, my next ones up to use. They're good. They smell really nice and Avino, Avino products um, for hair have always been sort of good for me. They work well for me. Another hair product that I've used up is this Pyrology um, 21 Essential Benefits Color Fanatic. It, it is a sort of a multitasking hair spray for when you wash your hair and your hair is wet before you blow dry it. It protects from heat, but it, it's also a detangler and um, it protects your color. So if you have color treated hair, it protects um, from it fading away. I really like this. It's expensive. So there are other ones that I also like that are not as expensive. And that's the one I'm using right now, a Pantene one, that I've also repurchased. Um, this is really good, but again, and it smells smells really nice, um, but again, it's expensive, so you might not want to repurchase this. I've bought this, I want to say, like three or four times since I discovered it, um, but I also buy the Pantene one so that I sort of rotate through them. Um, and don't go through one of these. I think this is like in the $40 mark, which I think is really a lot for a hair product. Um, the other hair product that I use completely is a Batiste, is a dry shampoo. It's one of my favorite uh, brands of dry shampoo. This one is the Tropical Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. Um, I've tried many different scents of this dry shampoo and they all work well, um, they do leave a white cast on my hair, so I kind of judge it and um, get the white cast out. But it's um, it's really great for getting your hair to smell nice, to get the oil out of your hair, and to make it look a little fresher. Um, it does still look like you put dry shampoo in it, and your the hair is a little dirty, and you still need to wash it. But at least it smells nicely and you don't see the oil in your hair when you use this. The other dry shampoo that I used up was one of these. Uh, I used this up recently when I was in Chicago for travel. I took this and um, this is my favorite. So if I had to choose between these two, 
I would go with the Living Proof uh, Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This one leaves less of a white cast. It still has a little bit of white cast on your hair, but it's less, and it smells delicious. Um, and it leaves your hair, you know, like looking fluffy and bouncy, and um, and it controls the oil. But it is expensive. It's like I want to say like triple the price a full size. This is a this is not this is a mini, right? This is a a, a mini. A travel size version. The full size of this, which is about this um, size, is about triple the amount of the Batiste. So that's why I don't um, buy it too often because it's I go through them a lot. But it's really good to have the mini to take with you, and um, they both work really well. I I use both of them on and off, um, and I would highly recommend either of them. This one though, I think it's a little bit better, but it's a lot more expensive than the Batiste. Okay, um, and the last thing I, I used up for hair is this, and it's actually, like if you see it, it's smaller. It's I use everything up of my products, so I cut them in half and scoop out everything that's in there. So this is the L'Oreal Protein Recharge, and it is a leave-in conditioner. So after I wash my hair when it's wet, I'll spray in something like this and then get some of this. It's, this comes out like in a cream and I, and I put that in my hair and then I'll detangle it and I'll um, style it, dry it if I'm going to dry it or do whatever it is that I'm going to do to my hair, which I don't do a lot. But um, even if I don't... Uh, dry my hair, if I just leave it to air dry, I'll use these products because they're they're going to help detangle my hair. My hair gets really, really tangled. Okay, so let's move into body. Um, I used an entire one of these. This is the big kahuna. This is, I think, the biggest size that they make of this. This is the Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. The scent is lavender. I've repurchased this many times. I love it. Um, as I said before, I love Aveeno products, and I and I have them in my shower for my hair, my you know my shampoo, my conditioner, my body wash, my face cleanser. All of it is Aveeno, um, and this um, smells really nicely, and it does have that calming, soothing effect on on your skin and on yourself because it's kind of like aromatherapy. Um, so, highly recommend. I love this scent, but they have many different scents that are also nice, and um, I already have another one in my shower right now. The other things that I used up were these two hand lotions, and this one's uh, from Pier One Vanilla Cream is the scent, and this one took me a long time to use up because uh, this is not the scent that I prefer. And the lotion is a little bit oily, so you have to like, put it on your hands and kind of wait for a while until it sinks in. And then you can start, you know, touching other things without leaving the lotion residue everywhere. Um, but I did use it all up. I There's another one, I can't remember what the scent was called, but it was blue instead of yellow. And it smells sort of like the ocean, so it's, it was something like ocean, ocean breeze or ocean air or something like that. Um, and I liked that one much more than I like this one, but I finally used it up. It took me years to use this up because I never used it. And then this one I just used up on my trip. Um, I took this with me. This is a body lotion, a mini of a body lotion. Um, it's um, Andalou Naturals, and it's a thousand roses. So this smells like roses a little bit with my roses theme. I used this one all up. I really liked it. Um, I have never used the entire, like the full size of that so I don't know I think I got this either in a ipsy bag or as a perk um, for for something that I purchased because I, I've never had this brand of full-size um, body lotion but it was nice and it was good to have that size to travel with another one that I did not use up but I'm going to call it because it doesn't smell that nice is this the body shop aloe uh, body butter. I love the coconut one. The coconut 
is my favorite scent of um, the body shop uh, body butters but I don't know why I was trying to branch out I don't know and I remember I bought coconut almond and aloe and I have had this one forever because I never really liked how it smelled and I think that now it's gone off yeah it smells like a little oil and rancid and it's a shame because it's practically all full but if I didn't like the smell before, I really do not like the smell now because it's gone off. So, this one is a really a shame because I have to throw this away. Done with that. They're really good for winter, these body butters, but you really have to get a scent that you like, or at least I do, because if not, I'm not going to use it. Moving on to randoms, um, I have a remove... Zoya 3-in-1 uh, formula, Remove Plus it's called. It's from Zoya. It's purple um, when it's full and it is a nail polish remover. I love these. I have another one that I've repurchased already that I'm using and I finally used this up. It takes me a long time to go through them, believe it or not. And I really, and I do my nails at home um, on a weekly basis, more or less. Um, and I use this every time to take my nail polish, to remove my nail polish, to take it off. And it has taken me a long time to use it up. So it does last you a long time. It's a little more expensive than your average, um, you know, like the cuticle, the, the cutex um, nail polish remover. But I, I really like the pump of it. Um, and it's, it gives me that like salon experience. So I like this one. Um, another random, I guess this is body related, is a deodorant, and the, the native deodorant. I've been using native for a long time now. And the coconut and vanilla is my favorite scent. Although the scent that I have right now is, uh, I can't remember, but it smells like frescolita, which is a drink, a soda drink that we had in Venezuela. Um, so I, I can't remember the name, but once I use it up, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. This one, love and use that one all up. I also used up a Sensodyne um, extra whitening toothpaste. This is the toothpaste that I use because it's really easy going on my um, teeth and my gums. I have sensitive gums and this helps with that. I used up a magnesium 500 milligram support bone and muscle of vitamin or supplement and I had 200 of them and I take one each night before I go to sleep. Magnesium is really good for a multitude of ailments and I, my mom recommended it to me or someone I read something about it, I don't know, but I've been, I've been taking this, um, well I took these 200 and I already have another, another one of these and I take it one every night before I go to sleep. Love magnesium. Okay. Moving to face. Um, for face, I have quite a few things. I'll show you this first. I have two of these. I love this to take my makeup off again because it smells like roses. It smells delicious. Um, it's a cleansing balm by Palms, and it is a solid cleansing balm that when you scoop it out, it turns into kind of an oily paste, and you just put it all over your face kind of massage your face and it takes everything off. It, it dissolves all of the makeup, even the, the um, really hardcore waterproof mascara. It'll take it off too. And then you can go in, so that's the first step to just kind of take off your makeup. I love this. I've repurchased it many times. I'm still using it because I still have repurchased. I have a repurchased one in my bathroom right now, so this is fantastic. Love it, highly recommend it. And then after that, I'll go with a face wash. So I have this Aveeno Positively Radiant Brighting Cleanser, and I have this other Aveeno Aegis Nourishing Cleanser. I've used all of, both of these up. I typically have one of these in my shower, so this is what I use to like, wash my face when I'm showering, but I also use this as a second cleanse. So after I go with the Pons Cleansing uh, Balm, to take off my, to remove my makeup, I'll go in with something like this 
afterwards as the second cleanser. So I double cleanse um, every time I have makeup on. I'll use something like this. These two are really great. I like this one better than this one. Uh, this, I don't know. The scent wasn't my favorite. And um, the, the texture of it, it was a little bit gel-like, this one, which I kind of don't like because it, sometimes it um, makes my skin feel really dry and taut, like it's parched when I use um, gel cleansers. But, but I think that the, the most um, annoying thing for me from this product was the scent. And for that reason I would not repurchase this one. But this one I've repurchased many times. I have one in my shower right now and another like backup waiting for for it to uh, to finish. And it, I really, really like this one. This one's creamy and it's not, um, it doesn't strip your face um, clean. It cleanses your face without really stripping all the moisture out of it. Other, uh, another cleanser that I have is this one. It's a little travel size. I use this one in my trip um, as well as the other minis that I showed you. This is the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. It's mild. Um, I like this one. I, I used to use this one in Clinique products when I was in um, high school and college. I these I, All my facial products were Clinique and then one day I remember someone asked me, I went to get a facial and someone asked me, do you use Clinique products? I'm like, yeah, how do you know? And it, she says, I can tell from your skin because Clinique products tend to open up the pores for people. And I was like, huh? No. So uh, from that day forward, I banned Clinique and started using Olay and Aveeno and uh, like uh, Pons and other brands that were not Clinique because I was like, ah, that, that's my main, that was my main concern then and it's still my main concern now. My pores are, are enlarged. Um, and... But I still had this <laughs> lingering around. I don't know where I got this from. Um, I might have bought something and it came as a as a gift with purchase or something. I don't really know how I still have Clinique products because I'm very apprehensive of them. So, but I use this one all up. I also used up this Paula's Choice. This is a um, an SPF and it has SPF 30. And it's called the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum with SPF 30 from Paula's Choice. I love this. I've used this many times. This is my SPF of choice. I don't have any other one. Um, I use this one all the time, every day. So I wash my face. Um, I put toner on. And then I put this. And then I'll start with my primers and my makeup and all that. But this always, I always wear this under my makeup. I've bought it many times and I'm still repurchasing and using it. I love it. Another Paula's Choice um, product that I recently discovered is this one. This is the Exfoliate Paula's Choice is 2% BHA liquid exfoliants um, and it has salicylic acid. So this is salicylic acid loves my face or my face loves salicylic acid because it's the only, it's one of the few acids that I can really take in, in terms of I can see that that it's doing something for my skin without leaving it irritated, without making it red, without making me break out, without making me sort of react. Like glycolic acid, my face does not like. I'll put glycolic acid out and I have a on and I have a reaction. My skin will react to it and not in a nice way. And, um, but with salicylic acid, we're in love. We have a committed relationship. This product is awesome. It is, um, a product that you think, oh, it's just this liquid that you're putting on your, like a toner that you're putting on your face. How much can it improve? Well, let me tell you, it can. It can improve your skin. It'll take, it'll cleanse your skin so you won't have the gunk that you have on your skin and your pores, especially if you have enlarged pores like I do, all the gunk that fills them up, 
this will take out without you having to probe and push and, and, and damage your skin, which is what I used to do. But ever since I got this, this will do that job for me very gently. And my skin looks is very clean, very smooth. It takes away the texture, the little bumps and gunks that you have. This. I use this daily, every night. Um, this is the, the toner. I use it as a toner, so I cleanse my face. I tone with this. I put this on. This um, acid exfoliate, um, exfoliator and and then I'll put moisturizer on and I'll call it a night. So I have like that sort of three-step routine. Sometimes I'll put lotion under my eyes and I always put lip balm to go to sleep because my lips get really, really dry. So that's, this is part of my nighttime routine. I love this. I don't use it in the day um, because I think it makes you feel, it makes your skin um, a little more <sighs> exposed or sensitive to light. So if I'm going to go outside, even if I put SPF on top of it, I, I don't like using it during the day. So I only use it at night. But it says it unclogs and shrinks in large pores. It does. It smooths and evens your skin tone, definitely. It, it's lightweight liquid and it absorbs quickly. Yes. All of the claims, it does it in two folds. It's just, it's great. It's great. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. I think that's it. I think that we went through everything, right? Hair, body, miscellaneous, and face. Oh no, no. I have three things. Well, I have three more face products. Okay, another one is this e.l.f. salicylic acid. I feel like there's one of these in all my empties because I go through this. I'm telling you, my face loves salicylic acid, and this is what I put on blemishes directly on blemishes if, um, if and when I get them because I still get them. I I went through an entire luminous uh, no voluminous lash paradise. This is from L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Used it all up. It's I'm not gonna open it because it's dry and I think it's like the little crusty bits of it are coming out of it. Really love this mascara. It's akin to the uh, Better Than Sex Too Faced mascara uh, that is also pink. Um, and but it's more expensive than this one because the Too Faced one is sort of like a luxury, well maybe it's not luxury, but it's a high-end brand and this is from L'Oreal which you can get at the drugstore. So I love it. Use that one all up and the other thing that I used up that I love as well is this uh, LA Girls Ultimate Lip Intense Stay uh, Lip Liner. So well there's nothing there but this color, I really like this color. I well, so much so that I used it up, but I think this is the second one that I use up of this. So I would totally repurchase this because I have already. Um, this is called Non-Stop Nude is the color. And it's the perfect nude color to put under any nude lipstick. It, it'll, it'll blend really nicely with whatever lipstick you have and the color is so nice that it'll en enhance whatever color of lipstick you put on top of it. Love it. Really, really like it. That's it. Now, now we're done. Um, yeah, I think I, I talked about everything here, and um, that is it. I hope you are staying safe and home. Don't go out, people. And um, using what you have. There's a ton of things that we have around our houses and being underused or not used at all that we could use in a time like this without having to go in a frenzy to buy things that we already have. So stay away, say no to the, to the um, hoarding mentality, okay? Use what you have, say, stay away. Stay away from the shops, stay away from the online shopping. That's a, that's a hard one for me. Because I can, I can stay at home all forever and ever, but I'm going to be shopping online. So stay away. Stay away and use what you have because I'm sure that you have whatever you need at home right now. So 
be safe, be healthy, be well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.